Mrs. Jazz is here with us and has been with us since the beginning of merch. The reason we're going through this whole look back is because we're in a new era of Jazz's studios and part of this new era is a reinvention of merch. You might or might not have noticed that I haven't been, I haven't worn merch really since we've moved to the studio. Maybe once or twice, but I've moved on in my head and where we have been working on for weeks now New merch that I'm very excited about. A fashion line. Yeah, that stuff that I want to wear. That you know what I mean. Go goofy merch is fun, but I I also I sort of want some stylish stuff. Yeah. Anyway, there's going to be new stuff, so let's look at the old yeah. stuff. Ten percent off with last chance. I love this because this is the first one we ever did together. I remember this. Mm. I remember this we did like meetups and stuff. Yeah. And we had. You know, we have like 15 of these that we gave to people. That was but, such a moment for me seeing a whole and we, like. And we advertise on that. <laughs> seeing a dozen people wear a Jazza shirt. It was our cool. Million subscriber like meetup was really. I actually really uh, enchanting. I mean, if you if you were one of the original subscribers, this might mean something to you. It means a lot to me because. Obviously, we did it, but I really like this. Yeah, it's good fun. The V artist. This was a, a short lived phase where I made I don't a super actually suit. actually know this one. Yeah, some of it will be a bit obscure. This is where I made the super suit, and I wanted everyone to feel like they could wear the super suit when they were in VR. I don't know. Did this sell at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. I like that one too. Indiana Jones reference. Do you reckon that flies anymore? Do you, you get the re You don't get no. the reference. <laughs> Have you seen Indiana Jones and the I've seen, Lost Crusade? I don't remember all of it though. Amy appreciates. So how old do you think you have to be to get the reference? Like my age. Yeah, like 30 plus maybe. This was so, this was a temporary run. I the pencil iron like. throne. I made it in VR and you know, it's not, it's not great. It's a big like, it's a big clap like, in the middle block. of the shirt. And it, yeah, a lot of this stuff is just sort of like I made it at the time. <laughs> Forgot about this one. Who made it? I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> you did! I remember we had an argument about it. What do you remember about it? I remember we had an argument about whether you should be selling it. <laughs> I walk a little too close to edgy sometimes. I don't know that it's edgy, I think it's just immature. <laughs> I because think, I have the I think impulse you to... and I have a disagreement between what's edgy and what's just, I mean, year Dumb. nine. Yeah, I have the impulse sometimes to make a merch because I think it's a funny idea that I don't want to wear, which isn't a great impulse. You would never do that! I, no. I made this, I never wore it. So, but I did get some tweets from people who did. It's one of my least favorite pieces of merch that I canceled a while back. Most of this merch we're going through, you won't be able to get, but the better ones you will for a limited time. <laughs> For 10% Is this terrible. on the, is there, are we still selling no, this? No, 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 we, no, no. So if you bought these, you bought a piece of history. It's true. So even the pencil penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's, never let it, that it's go. It's art, no. <laughs> it means what it means to you. It might mean something else to someone else. That's what you tried to argue at the time. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is classic. <laughs> this is timely too, because Gareth is currently editing uh, the return to Pass Bar 2. Gotta love it. Because they released a demo for the sequel and they made an Ocker Jazz a character. If you haven't Good seen the video with which one, which, what was it? It was the Pass Bar 2 in real life. Is that what you're thinking of when we went to Melbourne? Yeah, where you're painting yeah, yeah. in the, and he keeps coming up. That it's, was so good. He's so good. Don't mind this one. But again, having juicy on your shirt is probably not for everyone. Wear it. So no, it's like I feel like sometimes I made merch that was good for the theme of content or a, or a meme or a kick, but not particularly the sort of thing you want to wear around down the street and have strangers judging you. Sorry to interrupt in the middle of our uh, merch reaction stuff. We're getting to the classics, some of the stuff that you know both Mrs. Jazza and I actually like, and I think a lot of you have actually liked over the years. So I did sort of offhand come up with it in this vlog. I was like, oh, 10% off, last chance. I think I need to make a bit more of that. So I've just recorded in here a spot that I'm gonna put on main channel videos for the next few weeks. And it really is the last chance to get some of the classics, whether you're a kinesthetic learner or obnoxious but consistent or an adult like me, 10% off with last chance. Go check it out. It's a huge support to the channel, the studio and everyone who works here. And also our ability to hire people to help make awesome merch that's even better moving forward. So please go check it out. 10% off only for a few weeks. It's a huge support and I hope you enjoy 
show your classic merch, which will never be gettable again. This one was actually the first decent one, I reckon. Yes, yeah, because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely that's did. That's true. This, is, this was our first collaboration. <laughs> this one, I think, is, is still up. And I think I had to convince you to do this one. Did you? Mm -hmm. What, mm -hmm. just like a wording one? You yes. didn't like this that was, it was the wording. beginning. This was the beginning of my being receptive to your design sensibilities. It's still orange, which my I genius. have learned. <laughs> she has very good design sensibilities and much better than me when it comes to merch. And so we actually worked on this one together and we did a few different mm -hmm. samples with mm -hmm. different paint colors and all this stuff. And I, I really like the way it turned out. Is that still up? Yes. Yeah, it should be. It is. So is but this one, maybe but this not one probably... Orange. Are we only, we're not only no, selling no, there's orange. Other colors. That's a nice color. Yeah, that, yeah. that looks nice. And that's the one I wore most, I reckon. It looks like it. <laughs> yeah, you see, you wear yeah. the more subdued color yeah. in my design. Yeah. And you make pencil penises. <laughs> in my defense, it's <laughs> slightly funny for a brief moment if you're not wearing it. That is a great product. <laughs> Let's sell that product. The one that's slightly funny for a brief moment if it's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> This is a piece of merch. I think it's still up and I don't like it and I never consulted with you on no, this No! You didn't! Did you draw this? I did. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> because we have a very successful piece of merch which will come up later which is the I'm an adult which had that sort of figure in the fetal position. So I thought I was just going in that direction. Oh, that one's dabbing. It's bad. <laughs> this is, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I got a sample of a towel in this design that we use to clean up muck on the floor and like spills, because that's what it- If you've got <laughs> this, you should cherish it because it will never come up for sale again. If you have this, please send me a tweet of you dabbing wearing, wearing the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one it was sort of based off. Yeah, and it's a better it's design. Better. It's and better. you And you consulted on this. Yes. <laughs> I think it was the orientation of it that you helped out in particular with. And this one's cool because it's like a reference to the community because it's something I said a bit, but it's also sort of, I guess you could say- Makes ag sense. It's it agnostic to art as well. It's like you can it be It actually creative, makes sense if you wear it yeah. mm. anywhere. I don't know what that one looks like. Caution. <laughs> If I, yeah, look, if I saw someone walking down the street wearing this, I'd think, haha, cheeky. You know, they're they're adulting. I like this one, and that's another one that's that people have liked as well. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah. Gets the point across. Way. It's a bit of a design joke. But I feel like even the good ones, they're all sort of based on jokes, not necessarily yeah. like. So then this I made you do. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think I actually found this. And you glasses. did. And that was another really <laughs> like simple but effective one where you. Like, learning to orient things in a tapered, top-heavy way is one of the tips Mrs. Jazza gave me that works really well. Makes more flattering things to he wear. He doesn't mean top-heavy. No. He, he just... What do I mean? He, you mean... Like a V-tape. Tapering to the waist is yeah. what you mean, not top-heavy. If you, <laughs> if you say to a person, would That's you really like top to heavy. look top-heavy? Okay. They will say no. no. If you say to a person, would you like to look tapering at the waist? Back me up here. I yeah. feel like they will say yes. I feel like this vlog is a really great example of why I have you as a filter because without, <laughs> I get myself in all sorts of trouble. <laughs> did you consult on this one? No. I don't think you did. No. But I, I, even though I just sort of knocked it out, I followed your advice and did the same sort of taper to the waist and kept it a little more, a little more streamlined in design. It's still meme though. It is. But I like it. It's still a goofy one, but it's it's less like <laughs> goofy. I would have made you take out the band-aid. That is the thing I notice first whenever I look at this design. Because <laughs> no one wants a band-aid on something. But if you want the band-aid version of the merch, or, or any of these ones that are still up, go check it out, links in the description, because they are going to disappear, because the big news is, Jen has been working with us for a couple of weeks now. So we have an upcoming vlog going through some of the new designs. We're still making tweaks, but we're going to open up to your feedback. It's very exciting. We've done better this time. We think we've done better we this time. We have done a lot um, better. I really want to wear it all, which is like the main thing, or have it on a mug. I'm very excited. So we should do a question of the day with Mrs. Jazza watch this here. Do you think we'd ever get a main channel video with the whole Jazza family? Maybe an art challenge competition with Mrs. Jazza and you each on a team with one of them. Okay, so Mrs. Jazza and art, I've said this before. I can draw a rabbit and a horse and a triangular flower. Now, 
all of those are in two dimensions only. That's it. That's I think all we've I've got. That. That's one of our best performing vlogs is Draw with Mrs. Jazza and you, it's a tutorial on how to draw those three things. The drawing tutorial. I always take the stem up too high because I forget I can't colour over it. So then I have to make my flower really tall. <laughs> Shut up. Do you want me to do that on the main channel? <laughs> You never know. <laughs> They're very YouTube bad. YouTube is a, a weird beast. I mean, I guess we could do the Jazza family art tutorials where we all do our best art tutorials because BB has already got one going mm. on. She mm. goes, smiley face. She's probably Smiley face. Smiley. <laughs> Thank you. It's very good. Seven if you haven't seen of the it, ten steps are smiley face. Smiley face. I love it. <laughs> Will you ever do a video of the family doing art together? I think I like think an art it's challenge. Yeah, definitely an art challenge. Yeah. Oh, my response to that is always YouTuber hat on what's the hook? So oh, I can't draw anything. Maybe that's the hook. <laughs> Maybe that's the hook. <laughs> what? Can I teach my wife how to draw? <laughs> no one can teach me how to draw. I still <laughs> don't think we to answer the question. Maybe, I think maybe is the answer. Maybe. And it would be pretty chaotic. All right, now you've got to do the hand lens thing. Thanks for watching. Yep. <laughs> Just slap the lens. Not slap, but like gently calm and cup the, yep.